Hello, this is Professor Gans, and I want to talk to you about your uh, second fall semester project on bees, and specifically how to uh, do the project in PowerPoint, which turns out to be the easiest way to do it. All right, so uh, we're going to start first of all with a blank slide over here, and I'm going to paste in an image. Now, uh, notice the image does not fit the entire screen, and that's fine. Um, last eight weeks, we had a lot of you doing stuff like this which is stretching your image out and of course you don't want to do that because we don't want a distorted image. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a control Z here and get that back where it belongs. All right, so um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this on the top. The trick to this is that if you grab the corner and you hold down the shift key and when you drag it will keep the proportion of, of tall to, to wide. So that's, that's what you definitely want to do. It is perfectly acceptable uh, to have blank spaces on either side here. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and right click on this um, blank space. I'm going to format the background here. I'm going to pick uh, black. You can pick any color you want. It doesn't make any difference. You can even leave it white if you want. I tend to use a, a, a darker background because I'm going to label this image in, in a light color. So I want the text to show up. Okay, so there's our first image. So what the first thing you do on this is to actually insert put insert arrows. You want to go ahead and put arrows on all the structures that you want to label. So I'm going to do insert. Uh, I'm going to do shapes, and I'm going to pick this arrow right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw my first arrow to the eyeball here. Now, it's kind of small, so I'm going to come over to this this menu, which is Format Shape. Now, if you don't have that, you can right-click on this and go to Format Shape on the bottom, and that'll pop up. Uh, I'm going to change the color here to white so it shows up. And then I'm going to change the, the width here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and click up on that. And you notice that as I do that, or on the left, that the arrow is actually going ahead and changing its its size so I can actually see what's going to happen. This this is what makes a PowerPoint really simple to use. Alright, so now I've got an arrow. Um, so if I want to I can actually move that arrow around by grabbing the end or grabbing the, the tip. Uh, I can shorten the arrow, whatever I want to do. But that's how you're going to put in your arrows. And so I've got an arrow. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select that arrow. I'm going to do a Control c to copy it and a Control v And now I can grab the next arrow I've just made and I can bring it over here. I can readjust this. Uh, I can Control V again and bring another arrow and I can readjust this and so forth. So I, I can label as many things on this picture as I want to. All right, so notice that this is this is selected. I'm going to click over here to unselect that. So now I'm going to label these. So I'm going to go up to insert. I'm going to text box. I'm going to put a text box in here. Uh, we'll type in I. Uh, Photoshop does default to black uh, font. So I'm going to change that up here to white and I'm going to change the size. And again, uh, what you'll see is that as you do this, uh, as you pull up or down on the size, you see what it looks like on your picture. 40 works for me here. Grab this box, pull it over like this, and then I've got my first label. Come over to the empty spot and click to set it. Uh, going to do it again. Insert text box, draw a text box. We're going to put wing here. We'll highlight that, change its color, change its font size, drag the box where I want it click off of it to deselect it do it again insert text box put a text box in here uh, in this case it's going to be the pollen basket if I could spell it would help we're going to select it we're going to go to white we're going to go to 40 point font and we can drag the over okay so and we'll click off of it so now we have three things labeled here now you're going to be tempted now first of all I I stole this image off of the internet. You're actually going to use the images you take with your own cell phones. So uh, that's fine. Uh, be sure not to put like a hundred labels on this or lots and lots of labels. Uh, it is okay to use the same image over again and label different things on it. I have no trouble with that whatsoever. Another no-no is that you don't want to cross label lines. So I wouldn't want to do this where I'm going to paste in another thing here and I'm saying, oh, I need to label thorax. So don't do this. Don't 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 cross your label lines. That's that's bad form. You can always just bring that down like this and label whatever you need to do there. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and, and and copy this image and go to the next slide and I'm going to paste that in. Uh, I don't like the little boxes here, so I'm going to get rid of them. But you can leave them if you want. It doesn't make any difference. And so so now and then you can right click again, format your background. Um, you can go to here. You, you can use a theme, whatever you want to use, a gradient color, but I'm just going to use black here. All right, so just to save you some hassle on this, uh, once again, 
a couple things to remember, and that is, uh, please don't stretch your images. Just remember to hold down shift and drag from the corner, and everything will stay in proportion. And it's okay to have space on the side of your images. Your images are not going to come out exactly to fill the screen. That's fine. Don't put too many labels on any single image. Um, you can use the same picture over and over and over again and label different things on it. Just don't let it get too crowded. And, of course, don't cross label lines. Anyway, that's just a, a little quick pointer on uh, labeling your images for this project on bees using PowerPoint.